This is the place where death helps life. No, I had no idea that there are dead bodies underneath the convocation center. I had no idea. That's kind of creepy. That's crazy. Just cutting the fat off, um, I guess, back here on his thigh, um, so that we can expose the muscle to help, I guess, anatomy one, be able to view the different muscles, because pretty soon they're gonna have a test on it. Basically, it includes uh, cleaning cadaver to prepare to expose muscles, uh, to expose organs uh, uh, to a student center. They're volunteering practically to come to help because they. They want to gain some experience and they're very serious about their choices in the uh, uh, healthcare field. Kind of scared to touch it at first, but then like today we were like flipping this guy all over the place trying to get him to stay still, so you get used to that. And he's pretty heavy, he's a big guy. We had when we were carrying uh, from the car, um, I think we had eight people. A little bit disturbed, but I suppose there are weird like, things. You know. I thought for some reason they had them in like a freezer or a fridge, and they don't. <laughs> they just just keep them here in a, this container. The smell was kind of like shocking. It just like hit me, like when we uncovered it and started working. It's really even not that it's going to get worse. So, but you get used to it. Everybody reacts differently to the cadaver appearance, and my experience. It was practically the same. Um, I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable with blood as well. So you can overcome this. And I'm uh, advising my students, uh, do not uh, let it be on the way uh, for you to get a medical profession. It really does help you understand that there is a significant difference between a human and a pig and there's no way of being able to relate them and if you're trying to work with a human and try to fix living humans, being able to see what a, a human is and what they do really does help. Seeing it here is we can see exactly where the muscles connect to the bones and exactly where they overlap and in the book you can't see them together. They show separate pictures, whereas here, you know, we could pick up a muscle and look and see another one that's running underneath it. Sometimes by pulling that tendon, you actually can recreate in some degree the movement. Touch it, this is all artificial, but it's, uh, it gives you a total image of the, you know, this greasy stuff. You also build a more like personal relationship with your professor that you would never have just in lecture and lab. Uh, you get to know them and they get to know you and it benefits you in the long run. These bodies and the end, they will be returned back to their families. Not in the way they are, they will be cremated and they will be returned. Ha <laughs> ha.